Recently, a renowned climate scientist who shall remain nameless agreed to write a foreword for one of my books. And then, upon reading the book in detail, he decided that he would, could no longer write a foreword for the book because, according to him, there's no way humans can go extinct within the next few years. So I thought I'd do a little scratching beneath the surface to see how long it takes for non-human species to go extinct. I've already talked about functional extinction and the link between functional extinction and actual extinction. And here I'm going to talk about the rate of change and how it influences the rapidity with which other species can go extinct. I'm going to present four examples. The first of them is from the long-lived Bellinger River snapping turtle, which was exposed to a mysterious disease and nearly went extinct in less than a month. This long-lived species, been around for a long time, in less than a month would have gone extinct were it not for exceptional measures on behalf of human beings to cure the disease which was afflicting this species. And I can pretty much guarantee that when we face functional extinction as a result of a mysterious illness or anything else, no sky daddy, no aliens, no people from other places, no non-people from other places are going to swoop in and save us from ourselves. So when we face functional extinction, what that means is nobody's going to put us in a zoo to try to save us. We've already done that. It's not saving us. Second example is the dodo. Most people are familiar with the dodo bird and approximately when it went extinct. What happened in that case was Dutch colonizers brought monkeys, pigs, and cats in 1601 to Mauritius where the dodo was found. I think it's Mauritius. This, the species lost habitat shortly after the Dutch colonizers came and brought all these animals that then destroyed the habitat for the dodo. It wasn't just that humans were killing the birds. It was, most importantly, the loss of habitat associated with human occupation and the animals that the Dutch brought with them. The dodo went extinct in 1681, 80 years after the Dutch colonizer showed up. That's a pretty short period of time. It was functionally extinct probably within weeks after the colonizer showed up and brought all their non-human animals with them. And it took a full 80 years before the species, the last individual of the species disappeared. Third example is a passenger pigeon, which was hunted and otherwise habitat was destroyed for the species about 1900. So it was about 1900 that the species went from flocks of more than 2 billion birds, individual flocks of more than 2 billion birds, to essentially functionally extinct. About 1900 that happened. And then 14 years later, the last individual died in the Cincinnati Zoo in 1914. So the species was functionally extinct when it was removed from the wild by loss of habitat and hunting by humans, it was completely extinct when the last individual died in the Cincinnati View in 1914. And finally, the San Benedicto rock wren, found only on the San Benedicto Island off the coast of Mexico, went extinct within two weeks. Within two weeks after the volcanic island on which it lived went off. The volcano became active. Habitat was destroyed. This, this is a bird, remember, and a bird that actually could fly long distances. And it went extinct because it lost habitat. Any place it could fly to, that habitat was already occupied, so it wasn't welcome there. So if it tried to inhabit areas that represented habitat for this species, it wouldn't work because it was already occupied habitat. So this is a bird that could fly that went extinct within two weeks after the volcanic island blew and it lost habitat. To, to imagine that our species couldn't go extinct in a relatively short period of time 
is yet again a reflection of human hubris. At the age of extinction, only love remains.